some AM members. You just do the singing. I'll take care of the hard part. No. I wanna be the best there ever was. Be the rest, yeah, that's my cause. Jules, Reagan, Brinson, Mackenzie, Mary, Ethanoi, Richard, Caden, Ariane, Kevin, Alex, Eleanor, and Lucas, underclassmen, finish off. Ephrida! This right here is my favorite thing ever in the history of forever. I think about this every day. I think about this all night long. I stay awake, not sleeping, because I'm thinking about this. My name is Crust, and today is February 20th, 2024. Please rise for a moment of silence and pledge to the flag. This is a reminder for all 9th and 10th graders to log into your PowerSchool portal to enter your course requests for next year. Be sure to research all course options, checking out course descriptions and prerequisites for each courses you are interested in, as well as to consider pathway elective opportunities for next year. The course selection portal closes at midnight on Sunday, February 25th for 10th graders and Wednesday, February 28th for 9th graders. Don't delay, be sure to select courses for next year today. Sign up to take the ASVAB today. If you are in 10th, 11th, or 12th grade and need some help making career decisions, then consider taking the ASVAB. The ASVAB is designed to help you learn more about yourself in the world of work, explore occupational skills in line with your interests and skills, and develop a strategy to realize your career goals. The free assessment is offered at EHS on Tuesday, March 26th, and there is absolutely no military commitment by taking the test. For the juniors who need to complete the Act 158 Keystone graduation requirement, this is a great way to fulfill that. All you need to do is score a 31 on the test. You can find the sign-up link in Schoology as well as on the counseling webpage. K-Pets is coming to the Media Center on Wednesday, February 28th. Limited passes are now available for period 3 through period 7. You must have a pink study hall pass to attend. Please stop by the Media Center to, si to sign up as soon as possible. Now over to luck with the news. On February 20th, we celebrate National Love Your Pet Day, a day to embrace that one special trait that makes us human, our love of our pets. There are many things that differentiate humans from the rest of the animal kingdom, but one of the more unusual behaviors is our long-standing tendency to keep other animals as pets. According to Wise Voters Pet Ownership Statistics in 2019, about 57% of American households owned at least one pet. It only makes sense to commemorate something that's so important to so many people. So on February 20th, we celebrate our pets with National Love Your Pet Day. Now back to the main desk. This is a reminder to all yearbook staff, we will be have we will have our normal meeting, our normal weekly meeting today after school. We will be signing up for the final deadline pages today, so it is imperative that everyone is there. Happy National FFA Week! Did you remember to show off your American spirit? That's right, today is America Day. Although some FFA members may enjoy country music and line dancing, not all of them do. Not all of them live on farms, either. Two of the nation's largest FFA chapters are located in Philly and Chicago, showing that you don't need a farming background to go into the agricultural field. In Pennsylvania, there are over 13,000 FFA members, and there are almost 950,000 members nationwide. Don't forget that tomorrow, Wednesday, is Blue and Gold Day and Teacher Dress Down Day. If you don't own any FFA t-shirts, scan your closets for some blue and gold to match the national FFA colors. If you are a junior or senior and interested in the arts, music slash video industry, engineering, manufacturing, finance, or marketing, Rocklitix has the most awesome event for you. Plan to attend this hands-on exploration activity where technology meets art at this live event industry day on April 25th. 
Rock Linnets is a one-of-a-kind production community that supports innovative creativity within the live event industry with resources ranging from design, engineering, manufacturing, through rehearsals, and beyond. Rock Linnets is a one-stop shop. <laughs> To collaborate on any live experience, this is a great activity to help you decide if any of the careers that support live events are for you. Be sure to check out the link in Schoology and complete the online survey link ASAP, but before March 8th, if you are interested. Now over to lunch, then sports, with Armando and I don't know what to do with my life. Oh, I have the perfect thing for you. The kiosk. And today we have the lunch for the 20th of February, and today we have the hot honey nachos with queso, crispy chicken sandwich, Papa John's pizza, crispy chicken wrap, fruit and yogurt parfait with a muffin, cran apple chicken salad, sweet potato fries, green pepper strip slash dip, broccoli cheese sauce, assorted fresh fruit, or 100% juice slash slushy. <laughs> oh, on Saturday, five wrestlers qualified for districts. Brody Musser, fourth. Noah, Noah Tolmich, fourth. Quincy Meyer, third. Dustin Hoover, fourth. And Sam McCracken, fourth. Yesterday, the Lady Mounts opened the first round of districts with a win over Southwestern, 37-30. And Marie McCracken led scoring with a 15. And up next is Lebanon on... Thursday. Now back to the main desk. It's act period four today. Have, Have a, a tingly, tingly Tuesday, Tuesday after that. <laughs>